Okay, this is Raj. This is my other bearded. And, um, as you can tell, he has like a very awesome deep red and orange in his coloring with some black striping. And he truly looks like a tiger. And, you know, when I bought him, I bought him online. I, f I, I was looking for, for months for a male bearded dragon. Have a female, the little guy that you guys seen posted. And, um, you know, I wanted a male. Uh, at least I believe the little guy is a female. So uh, I just wanted to make sure I had a male, too, in the mix. And um, this is a leatherback. Um, he... Come on, he's running on me. Sorry, I apologize. But he... Um, Oh boy. Always when they're hungry, they want to move and run and run and run and run. Alright, you know what? You stay there. So, uh, yeah, he has, um, this lighting's not as good, but he has some awesome colors. And, uh, this ain't even him. And, sh you know, after he sheds, when he sheds, I mean, it's just a uh, brilliant color. Um, he is, uh, a crimson blood leatherback. Um, when I bought him, uh, the ad said that he was uh, super smooth. Now, I've never had a leatherback before, but um, it's not really that smooth. But it's definitely not spiky like, you know, your common bearded dragon. So I don't know if that's how smooth a leatherback should be. I don't know if it's perfectly smooth because I've never owned one. Nonetheless, I'm super happy with him. You know, I was really looking for, a, a, you know, a translucent, you know, black eyes, but... I, I could care less at this point. I just think he's like incredible. Um, <clears throat> he is uh, very, very tame. Um, he, he's uh, his hatch date was May twenty first, I believe, is what they said. And uh, the guy who sold him to me actually is awesome guy. He was really, really cool. Um, but uh, I really, truly love this lizard, and uh, he is an Italian leatherback. Crimson blood, I don't know what that all really means. Uh, crimson, there might be an X in there somewhere too. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Nonetheless, um, I, when, I, when I was searching online, I thought he was like the most unique. And it's kind of like what my vision was that I wanted. I was like, I wonder if there's a bearded dragon with tiger stripes. And I wonder if that's possible. Yeah, and I have a hole in my knee. I'm wearing sweatpants. Yeah, I just woke up, so uh, this is my lax clothes. Apologize about that, but <clears throat> um, so yeah, I came across him, and I was just like, oh, I gotta have him. And when I contacted the guy, he was hesitant on selling him because he was like really wanting to breed him. But he was like, I, I posted the ad, and I guess he he felt kind of like you know he did post it. He is a breeder, he has other ones, so, you know, and he does have many beautiful ones, but, uh, he did post this as, uh, he thought he was super unique and gorgeous, and, um, I begged him for it, <laughs> and he gave in, so, and he was very, very helpful, he helped me for a while, talking to me, and giving me advice, so, um, and his name, you know, I don't know if I can mention names, uh, but, you know, if anybody wants looking for a breeder or anything like that, you know, you can contact me and uh, I'll I'll talk to him and ask him, and I'm sure he'd be fine with, uh, you know, you, someone contacting him. You know, just as long as I talk to him, I just don't want to give names away on the internet. But nonetheless, um, this is him. And so you guys get about better color because he's in the shade. <clears throat> and here we go. He wants to run again because whenever. At least my experience, whenever these beardeds are hungry, um, they want to go. He's got wrinkly skin, so, I mean, he's coming close to shedding, but, um, the only thing I want with him is I, I want to get him a little fatter. I feel like he could be fatter. I got him this way, though. There you go, buddy. Yeah, I, I purchased him this way, and, um... I mean, he's not all that thin, though, you know. I don't know if it's normal to have the wrinkles, or if they should be fat where that stretches out. I mean, that's my idea, so. But he's not all that thin. 
Um, as a matter of fact, I think when I got him, he was actually a little bit thinner. I've beefed him up a little bit. I've only owned, I've only had him for, I'd say, probably just under a month. So, uh, but he's awesome, as you can see. Um, I really, really dig him. So, all right. Any questions? And uh, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, and I'm going to go feed him his uh, veggies right now. Whoop. Losing him. Uh, he likes to eat. Eh, eat that. Go for it. Right there, I got some uh, collard greens, uh, green beans, kale, and I think I, for the first time I threw a little romaine in there. Um, that's about it. Maybe just fill some water. I'm probably mixing some vitamins uh, today, and then I'll feed him his crickets around dinner time, and then I give him some crickets before bed, and that's basically his diet as of now. I do want to beef him up more, so, uh, and I think he is getting a little beefier, because this is what bothers me. I want to see that skin. Whoa. All right. Just drop them, but there he is. Let me see if I can get in the light one quick shot before so you can really see his colors. No, it doesn't really work. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, but there he is. Um, Next film I take of him, hopefully I'm going to do when he first sheds. Uh, when, when he does, it's just orangey, bright orange. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. So, at least my opinion. So, Bye-bye.